Hello, my name is Rob Wilton and I work for the marketing team for Coa Sporting Optics. And today I'd like to run you through some of the key features of our brand new TSN99 Promenade spotting scope as well as make some comparisons between our 880 series and the 99 series so you can get a good understanding of what both scopes can offer. Both the TSN99 Promenade, the new model, and the 880 series are both utilising our pure fluorite crystal lenses. So it's an absolute premium spotting scope. And it's amazing to think that actually the 880 series has been available on the market since 2006. And to this day, it's still the top of reviewers' lists as one of the most premium high-end spotting scopes that money can buy, uh, regarded by many to be the best spotting scope on the market. So if you're looking for a, a real high-end, top-performing compact spotting scope with a large objective lens, the 880 series is still as good as it gets. The purpose of today is to take you through the 99, what that can offer, what the differences are between the two models, to so you can make a good judgment on what you think is the best premium large objective scope for your needs. Now you notice for this video I'm using our straight version of the scope. That's a personal choice. For me, I'm a digiscoper, I've been digiscoping for many years and I've always preferred a straight scope because to me it acts more like using a conventional lens, I can find the subject quicker and I'm just used to that method of working. By far the most popular spotting scope models that we sell are angled and of course we do a 99A angled, 99S straight, 883 is the angled, 884 is the straight in the 880 series. Okay, let's talk about the obvious first difference between the two models and that's the objective lens, the size of the objective lens. We've got an 88mm for the 880 series and a 99mm for the new 99 series. Both models perform superbly in terms of resolution, image quality, control of chromatic aberration, colour blur, low light performance, high detail. They're both tremendous spotting scopes. But obviously if you want that extra edge for low light performance, to capture that real exquisite fine detail and to be using the scope first thing in the morning at dawn, last thing at night at dusk. Obviously that large objective lens is gonna give you that extra push and performance. It's important to mention that the 99 does benefit from some new optical upgrades because of the nature of the size of this objective lens at 99 millimeter, the optical engineers have had to make some improvements to really control chromatic aberration and uh, give that low light performance. So for the first time on any Coa spotting scope, the front lens element is using one of our high grade XD ED lenses. On the 880 series, that's a fully multi-coated standard lens that sits in front of the fluorite crystal lens. And on the 99, we've now got an XD lens that sits in front of the fluorite crystal lens. And that controls chromatic aberration to even higher levels and gives you absolutely crystal clear views. Another feature to mention on the 99 model is that the optical engineers have redeveloped some of the coating chemicals that coats the fluorite crystal lenses and the other, the XD lenses and the other lenses within and the prism inside the body. And they have managed to really push transmission, light transmission power right through the color spectrum so you get a really natural view from blue right through to red, a lovely natural colour that Coa is so well known and respected for. Now I'd like to talk to you about the size and the weight of the new 99 spotting scope. It's one of the first questions that we get asked. What's the size? What's the weight? What, how does it compare to the 880 series? Is it going to be portable? So let's just make a few comparisons between the two models. We're really pleased in the way that our optical engineers have managed to keep the size down on this 99 model. I mean, for instance, this 99S straight version is 364mm in length, the body, and compare that to the 884, which is 329mm in length. So, not a huge difference, bearing in mind the size of this, the physical size of this new objective lens. So, we really are impressed and we, we can really promote the scope as a portable, large objective lens spotting scope. Now let's discuss the weight of these scopes. The 884 
1520 grams, the 99S 1810 grams. So not much in the difference of, uh, in terms of physical weight, which is another real plus point if you want to go for this really large objective lens model. When we developed the new 99 series, one of the key things we wanted to do was keep the weight and size down as much as possible. We wanted to make it a real feasible option to take the scope out and use out in the field large objective lens with all the benefits that that can bring but at the same time we wanted to make it portable lightweight and usable the 99 series benefits from a hundred percent magnesium alloy body that's what's helping to reduce the weight the barrel and the prism unit is magnesium alloy on the 88 series we have a magnesium alloy prism unit and an aluminium tube here so we opted for no rubber armour again, which is iconic of our scopes, just this lovely finish. A little bit of rubber armour just here on this detail where the eye priest joins, but we really have kept the, the weight down as a, to a minimum. Now let's talk a little bit about focusing. Focusing is a really key factor in the use and enjoyment of a spotting scope. It's controlling the image that you see between your eye and the eyepiece. One thing about the new 99 is that we didn't reinvent the wheel with the spotting scope. We took the best elements from the 880 series and we incorporated them into this large objective spotting scope. And one of the best features we feel of our scope, apart from the optics, is the dual focusing system. This real fine engineering that puts you in control of focusing. dual focusing system has been incorporated. We have the quick focus top wheel here, which within a few revolutions you can find your subject and bring it into focus. And then the fine focus, the really fine engineering here is for controlling pinpoint accuracy. And the fine focus really comes into its own when you're using high magnifications, or if like me, you're interested in digiscoping, when you really need to control the focus as accurately and smoothly as possible, you will really benefit from some fine engineering. And that's one of the things that we really do pride ourselves on these high-end spotting scopes is the, the control that this dual focus system gives you. Bearing in mind, if you're using the extender, the 1.6x extender with the new scope, you could have a magnification of up to 112 times. So every fine tuning and adjustment is critical that magnification and of course another plus point to remember about the coa spotting scopes with the dual focus system on the top of the scope is if you're lying in a prone position under cover or whatever you're using a support a bean bag or a rucksack um, and you want to keep a low profile of course a barrel uh, focusing system will be hindered by the support that the scope's lying on whereas the focusing system on the top is completely free there's no uh, interference whatsoever. I can lie in a prone position. I can have the beanbag in my car, through the car window, whatever, sitting there without the tripod, and I can use my focusing system how it's designed to be. Now I'll just run you through a couple of uh, new features that are unique to the, the 99, which um, I feel really do enhance the use of the scope. You notice know, on the tripod shoe here on the 99, we have dual tripod mounts. And that's really useful for keeping a large objective spotting scope stable on a tripod head. It's particularly useful for me when I'm digiscoping. You can see here where I'm using two tripod uh, bolts through, through the plate into the scope body. And now that scope is really secure on the tripod, it's going to give you hours of stability. Let's just briefly discuss another feature on the uh, flagship Koa spotting scopes. We at Koa like to offer the use of a filter on our spotting scopes. It's, uh, it's a costly investment, it's a lifelong investment. We know these scopes get used out at the coast, they're in harsh environments, so we'd like to offer the end user the chance to use a filter on their spotting scope to help protect the objective lens from um, dust, sand, grit, dirt, anything that can build upon the lens and hamper the performance of the scope. The 880 series spotting scope has a 95mm filter thread 
and the 99 has a 105 millimeter filter thread. And the other key point here is that both scopes, when you attach a filter, you're not reducing the objective lens size at all. The filter thread is made so when the filter is attached, you're getting the full use of the objective lens. The important thing to mention here is on the 99, we made a slight change to the way your filter is fitted to the scope. Here, the filter thread on the 99 is actually on the scope body, whereas on the 880 series, the filter thread is actually on the sunshade. I have both filters with me today and I'm going to connect them to the scope so I can just demonstrate why we made the change to the 99. Okay, now you can see that both uh, filters are attached to the scopes. With the 880 series, you can see that it actually screws onto the front the twist sunshade. So when your eye twists in and out, the filter moves with the sunshade. So that is creating a cavity between the objective lens and the filter itself. We decided to eliminate that with the 99, the filter is attached and you can see I have full use of the sunshade and the filter is direct to the body itself. Now let's finally talk about eyepieces and accessories that you can use on the spotting scopes. They both have the same bayonet mount and they both have the same accessory collar. We call it the Coa system. It's a range of eyepieces and accessories that expand the functionality of the scope and everything is cross compatible. Okay, I'm just going to remove the accessory cap here. Now you can see on both scopes that reveals this collar and that's your gateway to adding additional accessories such as the extender, the 1.6x extender, digiscoping adapters, smartphone and DSLR so you can really increase the functionality of this scope. I'm not going to go into detail about our digiscoping adapters today. We've got many, many videos on our YouTube channel, Coa Sporting Optics, where you can learn all about digiscoping with DSLR or smartphone. Uh, but I do want to talk about eyepieces and what that means when you put the eyepiece on the two different scope bodies because they have different focal lengths, which means that the magnification will change from model to model. So here we have our TE11WZ eyepiece. We're just bringing out the Mark II model, which is optically identical it just has some different engravings here on the body so when you use it on a 99 you can see the magnification and when you use it on the 88 series you can see the magnification that's relevant to that scope so when i pop it in on the bayonet mount that is now a twist zoom from 30 to 70 times on the 99 just take it out with a quick release button when i pop it into the 880 series it's a 25 to 60 times zoom eyepiece. The different focal lengths of the scope changes the magnification so it's slightly more powerful on the 99. Of course, we're absolutely delighted to announce our new TE80XW extreme wide angle eyepiece. It's the widest um, eyepiece available on the market, the widest sporting optic currently available. It's a subjective view of 80 degrees. Uh, and when you pop that onto the 99 you get a magnification fixed of 40 times on the 880 series it is 35 times and it is an absolutely stunning eyepiece for observation and of course digiscoping with zero vignetting of course it's always worth remembering about our 1.6x extender which pops into the scope bayonet mount both scopes it's compatible with both eyepieces so if you're using the zoom eyepiece for example if you need extra magnification you can get up to 112 times on the 99 and 96 on the 880 series and of course the extender because it's a coa system accessory it's using the same bayonet mount as the scopes it's using the same accessory collar meaning you can use all the digiscoping adapters and other accessories with the extender fitted to the scope that's the beauty of Coa System. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I hope it's been of some use to you. So now you get a, a good comparison between the new 99 and the current 880 and which scope suits your needs best. I'm gonna get off now and make the most of this um, great weather and do some digiscoping.